Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Maya Autorigo to rig any of your FBX or OBZ avatar so that you can create the skeletons, you can create the bones, the rigs for your 3D avatar and then bring it into your character creator for to make it become a non-standard avatar to non-standard avatar so that you can perform the 3D animation in your CC4 and Icron 8. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, I'm going to show you, you can see I have two FBX files. The first FBX file, no skeletons. The second ones already have the skeletons. All right. If you want to use the character creator for to create non-standard avatar, let's say if one of the FBX file already with skeletons, you can just drag in, right? This is what you will normally do. You create, import the FBX as character, then it's non-standard, you apply it. Once you click apply it, maybe here you want to cancel it, and you want to map the bones manually. Now you can see this avatar already have the skeletons. So what you are going to do is just map the bone step by step like this. And then finally, you are going to make it become a non-standard non avatar. But what about if one of the avatar, one of the avatar, you don't have the skeletons inside it? For example, this one, the avatar 01, no skeletons. You already done the 3D modeling, but no skeletons. Someone already made the 3D model for you, a humanoid avatar, but no skeletons. What is going to happen? Import the FBX as usual and just have a check. Now you can see, in this stage, no skeleton, no rigs, no bones. You are unable to map, map the humanoid skeletons. So you are unable to make it become a non-standard avatar. This is just a 3D mesh. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how are we going to use the Maya auto Regal to just rig it in about one minute and then bring it into the icons and also the character creator for and you are going to use the character creator for to map the skeletons. But what about the auto rigging process? We are going to use the Maya. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. And first, what you are going to do is scroll down, go to my video descriptions. Just go and download the first ones, get Maya 2022 skeletons.3dx profile. This is the file that I created for you. It's very important. And you also need to have the Autodesk Maya first, right? So in Autodesk Maya, I create a new scene. This is the Autodesk Maya. Get the Autodesk Maya and also get the Maya 2022 skeleton.3dx profile. Now, my Autodesk Maya is the version 2022. Then just now I have, uh, I have an avatar 01 with no skeletons. We are going to use the Maya we drag in, drag it into the Maya. Then, now it is already imported into Autodesk Maya. Now, I will just turn on the texture. Okay. It is totally no rigs, no skeletons. What am I going to do now? By default, it is under the modeling. Of course, you can just switch it to rigging. And then, all of this. You make sure here is rigging and, and now here you switch to rigging mode. Then click here. And by default, you cannot see that you have to turn this on. This is the outliner. Okay, make sure you turn on the outliner. By default, it is like this. Turn on the outliner. Choose it to rigging mode. Then click rigging. Then the next step. Right. The next step, what we are going to do, you have to click the first one. You can see all of these are, are meshes. Click the first one, then hold the shift and click the last one. Make sure you selected all the meshes, then click here. This is the this is the auto rigging. Right. Click the first one, hold the, the shift, click the last one, click here. Next, you choose the step-by-step step and then click plus, 
then click plus. Now all the meshes already selected. Next, create a guide here. Once you click create a guide, it is going to appear some of the dots here. So next, what you are going to do is just to switch it to the correct places. You can see all of these dots, some are not at the correct places. For example, this five, I'm going to press W to just push it up so that make sure it is at the correct, correct position now. You can see the knee, click, then switch it up. And then you can just click here to make sure it is going to apply at another side as well. Now done. Check all the positions of the bones. Click this one. Here you have another, another reference. Move it to the correct position. And then apply to another side as well. Or you can move this side and apply to another side. Now here, of course, this one is not at the correct places. The arm, the wrist, next. Apply to another side. Once you feel satisfied already, what you are going to do is, wait, here, like this, apply. Once you feel satisfied, you can just click, click here to create. Create a skeleton. And also, click create update. You have to finish all these five steps. Once done already, what you are going to do? So now everything already done. Next is, you can see this is the cloth mesh and also the skin mesh. We are going to make sure the cloth. Okay, this is the cloth mesh. We can adjust it here, this one. Go to the sculpting, double click here. And then this is the size. I'm going to fix this. Wait. Select this. Back to the modeling. All right, it's okay. This one you have to do before before the rigging process. Of course, now this is the dress. I can just click the mesh, sorry. Back to the rigging mode. Go to the skins, then unbind, unbind the skin. Now this, this one already get the, free, the, the freedom. Now, then go into scrub it, scrub it again. Of course you can adjust all of this collision. All right, like this. Now already I'm buying, and later we are going to buy it again. These are the collision problem. Now one, once done already, click again, back, back to the selection tool, click the dress, and then this is the rig. This one, all right. Click and hold the shift. Sorry, click the dress, hold the control, click the rig, then go to the skin, then bind skin. Then next, click the skin. This is the body, and then hold the control. Then click the dress, go to the skin, copy skin weight again. Something like this. Then everything already done. 
So next, we are going to export it, export as FBX file. So I'm going to click File, Export All, Export as FBX file. I'm going to export it on my desktop. I click the desktop. The file name, I'm going to name this as female01 read right this one already done the rigging process I click export all it is going to export it as FBX next we done already we already finished the rigging next we are going to go to the character creator right this one I'm, I'm going to start a new file here this is the character creator for first you drag in drag in the female01 rig drag in and Import as character, non-standard, click apply. Now, under the characterizations, you click open the custom and choose it. Choose the one on, on my desktop. This is the Maya 2022 Skeleton.3DX profile. You can just download it from my video description. I already put the link at there. This one, the Maya 2022 skeleton. Double click and then click OK. We untick the tipos. We only want the, mode, the bone mapping. Click OK. Now everything done. Click active. Done. Click active and click the characterization. Now this one already become an I avatar. We can just click file, export as I avatar. Export as demo. I'm going to export it on my desktop. This is the female 01. Export it as I avatar. It is here already. So next, we can just test it in iClone. This is the wait. This is the iClone. The iClone it drag in the I avatar. And we are going to just test some of the some of the animation. Try to play. You can see this avatar already become an I avatar that that can perform any of the three D animations. And you can see any of the collision here. You have to uh, okay. This problem it is just because of of the 3D modeling process, the skin weight problem, and also just now in Maya, I got perform some of the, the skin weights, apply some of the skin weight, and also just now I already scrub it. Of course, you can make, make it perfect. Make it perfect until all the skin weight already perfect. Then you can just export it out. All of these skills you are going to apply in Maya. Learn, learn about the Autodesk Maya to make yourself expert in Autodesk Maya 3D modeling. And as demo, I'm just perform the 3D animation pipeline to make sure your avatar ready fully rigged by using the Autodesk Maya. And now, this unrigged 3D avatar already become a rigged 3D avatar. Then it already become an eye avatar in iClone so that you can perform any of the 3D animations. All right. That's all for today about how to use the Autodesk Maya Auto Regal to rig any of the FBX or OBZ so that you can map the skeletons in Character Trader 4 and make it become an eye avatar in iClone 8. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy animation and game developing. See you.